This is our mashed potatoes that I had left over from making our potato yeast rub. I'm just taking this and I'm putting it in a bowl. You don't need much and it will make more than you think. And this is probably a, maybe a half cup, maybe three fourths, I don't know. And I'm just putting them in a bowl. So today is all about potato patties, but there's my yeast rolls I'm rising. I'm just busy, busy, busy trying to get things done. Next, we're gonna add an egg into our potato. So I'm Val from Our Forever Farm, and I thought it would be neat to show you what I do with my leftover mashed potatoes. Now, as I said, I'm making, I made rolls, and they're rising, and I had about three quarters of, of a cup of mashed potatoes left over. I'm adding some flour, some eggs, and uh, we just get it to a thick consistency that we can fry up in potato patties. So if you've never tried potato patties, this is a great time to do it. You know, we all have leftovers this time of year. So all I'm doing is adding flour and one egg to get this to a very thick consistency where I can spoon it out and fry it up. I love to have hodgepodge suppers. Uh, it's just fun to me and easy. And when I got a lot going on in the kitchen otherwise, then it really helps to pull something out of the freezer and use leftover potatoes to make this. Next, I'm gonna add my salt and pepper. Now you can probably tell how thick this is. With that flour, you want it pretty thick. So use quite a bit of salt and pepper. Look how much that made now from that little bit of potatoes that we made. And you just wanna stir all it together. Many of you know that Sweet Hunter don't like onions, but onions are delicious in this. I almost went to the garden because I have a few little green onions there, but he just blew the leaves in the, in the yard and he put it right on top of my little gardens, which will be good for them, but good compost. But I'm gonna add a little bit of onion to about half of these for me. It'll be so good. So here I'm just chopping up the onion. I'm going to put half in the freezer. I'm going to chop it up and just put it in a Ziploc bag or vacuum seal it and have it ready for another meal. I love doing that. It's like having fast food. But I'm also chopping up half of it for my potato patties. They're going to be so good. And we're using our Nakano knife. Uh, the company gave this to me as a gift. I really appreciate it. I've mentioned it before. It is a wonderful knife, very sharp, and it's the first knife Sweet Hunter and I have had that is really nice. And we have a uh, link in the description box. We also have a discount code that the company offered our Forever Farm viewers, if you'd like to go there and see that. Now, if you don't know how to get to the description box, you just click on the title of this video and you'll see a few words and then you'll see more. Click on more and you'll, you'll find a wealth of information in that description box. And that's how you find it. So if you've had trouble locating the description box, I hope that helps you. Now, I'm not putting my onions in yet because I'm gonna fry sweet hunters first. The first thing I'm gonna do is turn my eye on. And then I'm gonna put some oil in the bottom of the pan just to cover the bottom of the pan. I just use vegetable oil. You can use whatever oil you want. Now again, here's our potatoes. Now this little amount, it's perfect for us. So I'm gonna do Sweet Hunter about three quarters of these and then I'm gonna add an onion to mine. And these are great to snack on. These are great to add to a meal. They're easy, they're Southern, <laughs> Southern country cooking. And they use the leftovers, that's what I love. You don't waste anything, and we don't waste anything in this house. So you wanna make sure that your oil in your pan is good and hot when you place these potato patties in. I just take a spoon and just put them in like that. That's all I do. So just a little hint, don't try to get these turned over before they're ready. Make sure they're brown on that bottom side. 
and they will move in the oil. So you, if, if they're not moving, they're not ready to be turned. But you can see I'm even getting it up on the side of the pan, and that's fine. It's not going to hurt a thing. So if you're just starting out cooking or you've never cooked these and you want to try, remember, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for good. And these are going to be good whether I get them on the side of the pan or not. So once you turn them over, just let them cook on the other side. You can press them down a little bit if you want to. That's fine. I love these so much, I could eat them just by themselves as a meal. So here I'm just adding my onions into my batter. And his patties ought to be done. So all I'm doing here is just removing Sweet Hunter's patties from the pan and putting them on a paper towel to drain. It's that simple. Look at those onions in my batter. Now here, we're just gonna do the very same thing again. We're gonna fry mine up. And this doesn't take long at all. So I believe mine, I'm just gonna get a fork. That will probably be the easiest thing. I used to have a little pampered chef spatula. Have y'all saw those? I love them. I used to have two of them. And I'm telling you, I can't find them. I cannot find them. Maybe I'll find them soon. But that would be perfect for this. But a fork works too. Look how good these look. You should smell these. Oh my goodness, these smell great. I hope y'all have had a great Christmas, and I hope this helps you with your leftovers. I'm looking forward to a great 2024, aren't y'all? We're so blessed. I hope you have enjoyed the videos with my girls and my grands, and uh, there's going to be lots more in the future. I'm very excited about it. I love cooking with my kiddos. I told them after their videos and how cute they were that y'all be bored to death with me. <laughs> Okay, I've got my potato patties done. Let me check this dough. If you haven't watched this video for this potato roll recipe, it's so easy. It's almost doubled in size, and it's probably been about an hour. We're probably gonna have another hour of rise time. We'll be making the rolls, and like I say, you can watch that on the other video. You're a great asset to your recipes. I'm telling you. Potato patties. Don't they look good? This is Sweet Hunter's for later, and this is mine, and I am excited. I love to eat them with ketchup or mustard. They're still a little bit warm. Let's hope I don't burn myself again. You know how I have a tendency to burn myself when I do a taste test. They're so good. Mm. I might should add just a little bit more salt, but these are delicious with onions. Look at the inside. They're so good. They just cook right up. It's like, it's almost like bread, but it's fried potato patties. It's a Southern thing, y'all. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. So my whole purpose of this video is to show you, you can take a little bit of something and make such a good meal. Now I'm just gonna take this cowboy candy and I'm gonna pour it over cream cheese. I'm gonna take some chips, just some nacho, some tostitas. Uh, you can do crackers. And I'm gonna serve this with my potato patties. We've got some cornbread made. We're gonna just snack around tonight. It's gonna be delicious. So who would have thought you could make a little hodgepodge meal? Leftover mashed potatoes, cowboy candy, a few nachos, some cornbread, and I think I got some chicken that I thought out from the freezer, you know, fast food. And look at that chocolate cake in the background. I think we've got dessert made. Hey, y'all go cook something. <laughs>